What's up YouTube? Mimi here, coming at you from my channel, Bunny Birdie Gator. Now, I am here with a different sort of haul today. I'm here with a candy haul. Now, in one of my Tuesday morning hauls, I told you guys how much I love this one particular brand and flavor of candy. I even showed you some of those candies in cherry. Now, I have a delicious and big candy haul for you guys. This is gonna be all hard candy, well, almost all hard candy, and most of it's gonna be old-fashioned candy. I love these, you guys. Let me show you the one that really got me going. So first, let's get started with the sanded watermelon drops. So here are what the sanded watermelon drops look like. Let me show you guys up close. They kind of have a little like sand on them, a sanded dusting of like sugar. They're a really pretty pink color. They're the perfect size. Like you can still carry on a conversation with one of these in your mouth. Well, it does a little clicking on your teeth, but mm, this is my favorite, you guys. I love this one so much. Mmm. It's very sweet. It's a really real true watermelon taste. Now, if you guys have had watermelon gum before, like a Hubba Bubba, Bubblicious, something like that, or even an extra watermelon, this is a little more mild than some of the gum watermelon tastes or flavors. It's really nice. It's not too overpowering, it's just perfect. Let's go ahead and move on to the next flavor. The next flavor I have my eye on and I've never tried is root beer sanded drops. Now I love root beer barrels so I'm really curious as to if this tastes like root beer barrels. I'm hoping so but I'm really curious because again it's sanded and it's smaller and it might have a little different flavor so let's go ahead and open these up. This is how the root beer looks. It's very sanded. It has a lot of a dusting of this powder or powdered sugar substance on it so you can barely tell that it's brown. Okay I'm gonna taste this one and let you guys know. Mmm. It's really, really, really good. Oh yeah, I'm loving this. Very fresh, very crisp. It has a little bit of a bite to it, a little bit of a crisp mintiness to it, kind of that feeling that your mouth has when you're sucking on a mint and it has a little bit of a cooling sensation. So this has a little bit of that in addition to the root beer barrel flavor. I really, really love these. Oh yeah. And one thing I really like about these is because of the shape they are, you know, it's small enough, but it seems to last a long time. It doesn't really thin out like mints do where you end up biting it or the hard candy discs where you bite it and it gets thin and you end up chewing it. These I find I end up sucking until they get really, really, really tiny, if not just sucking them until they dissolve all the way. So again, that's the root beer and it is delicious. I'm going to try it today. I've never been bold enough to try this flavor before. This is the old fashioned whorehound sanded drop. So I'm really curious to open these up and see what they're like. Like, I see a mint on the front. Okay, so that makes me feel a little less scared, but I just have no idea what to expect. This is what they look like. Again, they're very heavily sanded. You can't really tell what color they are underneath. Okay, you guys, three, two, one. Hmm. Um. Oh, Ooh, you guys, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't think I'm a fan of the whorehound flavor. It tastes like very woodsy and a little minty and a little bitter. This is one of those flavors kind of like licorice, like you either love it or you hate it. And um, I don't really think I like this one. It's very bitter kind of like a unsweetened tea. If you're a whorehound fan, I'm sure this is done very well, but this is an acquired taste. Um, for me, it's not something I will want to be eating, but 
it will be fun to prank my kids with this one. <laughs> Tell them, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so sweet and it's so this. And to see the looks on their faces now, that would be funny. But for me, this is not my favorite. And next is a bag of old fashioned licorice. I can't wait to try these. Again, these are also the sanded drops. I am really excited for this one because I am a true, 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 true licorice fan. Like I love black licorice. Just handling these, you guys, there's so much sand, so much of the powder sanded top on them that you get kind of uh, sandy. You see my fingers here? You can see the layer of them. So this is what the licorice ones look like. I can't wait to have one. Mmm, mmm, this is so good. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so, so well done. Okay, so now it's time for the cherry. And I have had the cherry before. My kids absolutely love the cherry. We bought a larger size, kind of a box of these at Tuesday morning, and my kids gobbled these up. I had a few. They didn't really leave me many. They loved them. And just a little nutritional info for you guys. Five pieces are 60 calories and 15 grams of sugar. Here's what the cherry looks like. Here's the cherry and I'm gonna try one. Mm. The cherry is really delicious. It's kind of tangy, very juicy. Mmm. A tiny bit sour, like that sort of cherry, like when you put real cherries in a cherry pie and it's that kind of tangy goodness. It's really delicious like that. Mmm. And here's what it looks like. This is so good. Now let's try out lemon. Now I have to say I've tried lemon before, but it's been about a year since I've had them because I used to get these at my local family dollar. These and the watermelon. So here's the lemon and it's a little um, more lightly sanded. You can tell that it's yellow. Oh, these are so good. These are like your, kind of like your traditional lemon drops if you guys have ever had lemon drops. Hmm. So you suck off the sanded part, which is really sweet and then you just gotta wait a minute to get the flavor in that's underneath the sanded part. So far, I'm loving all of these. Gilliam, I'm not blaming you at all because I know Whorehound is an acquired taste, but so far, like, I'm loving all of these. These are all so well done. So that was the lemon. It was also so delicious. Now, last but not least, in the Old Fashioned Sanded Drops, we have the Old Fashioned Cinnamon Sanded Drops, and these are in a box. This is a seven ounce box. This is about the size that you can find in Tuesday morning when you buy these. And I think they were $2.99 in Tuesday morning. So let me go ahead and open up the box and try one of these. I have never had a Cinnamon Sanded Drop, so I'm really excited. This is what these ones look like. You can see that they're kind of reddish pink under the sand, the sanded coating. Mmm. Really nice light cinnamon taste so far. You guys remember those little um, cinnamon candies? They were like little red cinnamon candies and they were, I'm thinking that they put them in the, in the little baking like the sprinkles container back in the day. You guys remember those little cinnamon ones? They used to be, you could put them on cookies or whatever. These kind of taste like those. These also um, taste, like I said, a little more mild, like the cinnamon bears um, or the cinnamon discs. This is a little more muted. It's like not a hot cinnamon. It's just a really warm, nice, cinnamon. This is not a burn your mouth like fireball cinnamon. This is a really, really gentle, flavorful cinnamon. Then next I figured we'd try these. These are the chocolate mint puffs. You guys know the sort of like mint puffs that you get like if you go to a wedding or a party, there's like a dish of them. They kind of dissolve in your mouth. I've had one of these before. This is what they remind me of. This is what they look like. It's kind of a light green and a, and a brown. 
You can chew these after a minute. These have a very, um, very chocolatey mint taste. A little more chocolate than mint. Again, those were the King Leo chocolate mint puffs. Here's another King Leo item. These are the soft peppermint puffs. Now, these were the ones that I was telling you guys about that you often see at parties or weddings. Um, and so I'm expecting this to be a chewy one. It looks kind of like the other one. Here we go. Yeah, I just love how it feels when you're chewing it. My kids are really gonna like these. Not too, too minty, but I love that it's just a different twist on a mint, you know? These are really good, really, really good. And next I have some sour sticks. There's watermelon, blue raspberry, strawberry, apple, and orange. This is kind of sticking with the old-fashioned line of candy. So here's the watermelon. Mmm, delicious. This tastes like the watermelon drop. This is a little more tangy and sour than the sanded watermelon drop, and it's delicious. I really love it. Now this is the sour orange. Mmm, I love orange candy. Oh yeah, that is good. Mmm, really good. Really, really good. I love that one. Next is apple. It's a very light apple. And really not too sour. This one's nice. But it's kind of a light, a lighter taste. Now strawberry. Mmm. That's yummy. That kind of reminds me of those strawberries that are wrapped in the strawberry paper. They look like little strawberries. That one's really nice. And last but not least from the sour pack is blue raspberry. Oh my gosh, you guys. So good. So good. I typically wouldn't just sit here and crunch the whole stick, you know. I'd suck on them and keep part of it in the wrapper and, or maybe break off a piece and suck on it. But I really want to taste it for you guys and let you know. This blue raspberry is really nice. I'm sure my, yep, look at my tongue. Uh-huh. And I'm sure my teeth have all sorts of blue in it. I really should have saved this one for last because now I'm like, uh, all blue. Anyways, this blue raspberry is kind of like a blue slushy or a blue icy or a blue snow cone or like the raspberry um, blue candy that you might have like a Jolly Rancher or something like that. This one is really delicious. And next we have peaches and cream. My camera just decided to turn off on me, so I don't know if you guys got my last bite. Mmm. Very peachy, very sweet, and warm tasting like, like a peach cobbler. This is really good. And next we have cherry. I'm really curious to see if this one tastes like the sanded drop. This is a really good cherry taste. It's a little stronger than the sanded cherry drop but they're both excellent. Next is green apple, and I really like that these sticks are striped. I just think that's so cute and old fashioned. Like, I love how that looks. And I love how it looked like if you were a kid and you were in a store and they were in glass jars or wherever I saw them in glass jars. I always thought that was so cute. Okay, so green apple. And this is kind of like a very light green apple, like the other stick I tried. It's a very light green apple. It's nice. It's very mild. And then we have watermelon. Mmm. Watermelon is really nice. They really do their watermelon so good. Like this tastes a lot like the sanded watermelon drop. I love this. I got all sorts of colors going on. I got all sorts of candy in my teeth right now. This is a lot to do a candy haul like this. It's a lot of fun, but you got a lot of different flavors going on. So the last one I'm gonna do 
is blueberry. I might have said this was raspberry, but this is actually blueberry. I feel like there's not a whole lot of blueberry candy out there, so I really like that they included this one in the pack. And it's a pretty blue color, blue with a dark blue stripe. I really like this. I like the color. I love the shade of blue. Mmm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. This blueberry is very soft and sweet. It's not overpowering. It's not like too sweet, you know, and too artificial. It's really nice. I can't believe it, you guys, but this candy haul is over. I've tried all the sticks for you, the two bags of the King Leo mints, and all of the Gilliam sanded old-fashioned drops. They were so delicious. I loved all of them, except the whorehound isn't for me. But hey, if you guys like this candy haul and you want to see more like it, you know what you got to do. Hit the thumbs up button, share with me down in the comments below, and be sure to include what your favorite flavor is, what your favorite candy is, or what your favorite old-fashioned brand of candy is. If you've ever tried these, let me know because when I try them for the first time, I absolutely fell in love with them. Some candy is just so well done and I will definitely be loyal to these. They're just so delicious, like so, so delicious. So hey you guys, if you haven't yet and you want to, and I hope you want to, I'd like to see you click that little button and subscribe. All right you guys, well thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.